And welcome to Gold Market Update and Charts of Interest for today, the 15th of November. Hope you're well. Mike Smith, seeing the analyst of Gold Markets here. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. Of course, US equities were softer last night, took a pause after that pretty significant recent run up. All major indices closing in the red. There's no obvious catalyst for this, but there is some evidence of sector rotation, firstly. And secondly, there is a fair amount of data coming out today, and the market probably needs some more confirmation that this direction is the right one. U.S. futures are trading higher in Asia. Uh, Asian indices are following that weaker U.S. lead from last night. Uh, ASX is weaker at around about minus 0.4%. Materials are dramatically underperforming the rest of the index. Again, some evidence of sector rotation with some money going into the defensive sectors. European equity futures are suggesting a lower open also. Uh, the U.S. dollar index, though, didn't really respond too favorably to that U.S. equity weakness. It is slightly higher, but it's really described as a pause at the three-month lows it hit yesterday. Gold is still doing well around 1770 and through the 200 MA, and oil has dropped off a little bit to short-term support around about $93 a barrel on the Brent crude CFT contract. Copper's retraced a little bit after a stellar run. And it has retraced the 200 EMA. I'll be interesting to see what happens next. And just, if you like, reinforcement that the market isn't dreadfully upset about life, the universe, and everything. We are seeing the VIX pretty neutral. It's still below that 25, still near the lowest level since early September. Uh, Bitcoin has paused after the crypto sell off and is trading around 16,600, which is still two year plus lows. And Japanese. GDP is out and was very soft, in fact, moved into negative territory. And the yen was slightly weak as a result. We've got the RBA minutes out and also we've got Chinese industrial production and retail sales. This afternoon, we have UK jobs, Euro GDP and jobs and the US PPI. So quite a busy day today for today. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that the market has thrown up today of interest. Uh, on the ASX, we are like in TWE. We think it's got some significant potential. It did start really strongly and moved over that high we hit mid-September. Just pulled back today, but we think this is very worth keeping an eye on if it breaches that 1365 level. Just to put it into context, take it back. Uh, you can see how important this level could be. Possible move up to around about mid-16s if we get a breach of this level over the course of the next weeks we referenced the yen weakness and we are seeing some of that if you look at the only chart on the gb pound yen today you can see the gb pound has moved upwards since asian open and we are watching this level here at 165 if we see a breach of that we could see a fairly significant run-up of around about 60 pips up to test this resistance at around about 165.77 could be a choppy day markets need some more certainty so just take care as the day progresses trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now